Carl from Mississippi. <laughs> we are celebrating one of the most delicious and popular recipes online, the Mississippi Roche, shared Woo! millions of times. The New York Times, get this, the New York Times calls it the roast that owns the internet and the creator of the original recipe, Robin Chapman, is here with us. I've been Thank looking you. forward to seeing you too, Robin. I've been looking forward to seeing Wonderful. you. Wonderful, so, so happy and, and proud. Just tell us how this all came about. Well, I, actually, it um, started a long time ago. Uh -huh. My daddy's sister gave me a recipe in the early 1990s for a roast beef sandwich recipe. Mm -hmm. It's quite spicy but wonderful. <laughs> I had small children at the time, so I decided to alter the recipe to create a little milder version. And, and it's something that you can kind of modify it you can. to your taste you and what your, what your Absolutely. family likes and all that. Uh, but it's, it's so easy, isn't it? Oh, it's so easy. Anybody can make it. And it's tasty each and every time? Every time. Okay, so there's some secret ingredients that we there want to are. share. Okay, so this is the first one. Tell us about it. These are pepperoncini peppers. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they work well in the slow cooker and they give the roast a very distinct flavor. All right, so that's the first one. Oh! A package. This is going back. This is going back old school. Way back. I love yes. this. <laughs> yes. The au jus mix just creates that delicious gravy that you get in the end when it works with the other ingredients. Okay, and last but certainly not least. No, probably most, the most important recipe, the most important ingredient is the Hidden Valley Ranch dressing. It's mild <laughs> and flavorful, and it really makes the dish what it is. It does, and each and every time is so delicious. And I know you want to give a shout out to your friend, Karen. Karen actually. Yes. Now why? Put, well, she actually put my recipe in her hometown church cookbook, which was my church as well growing up. We've been mm -hmm. lifelong best friends. And after that, somebody picked it up on a blog and then it just went viral. Were you amazed as everybody yes, else? Yes, we're I mean, very surprised. Okay, hey Patty, everybody come on in here. You want to do a little taste test here? Okay, <laughs> may we? Sure. May we get a little bit of a taste here? Wow. What do you, you know, how many people are going to be making this tonight? How does that make you feel, Robin? Well, it's very flattering and exciting that such a simple recipe has been so well received by people across the country. And it is so simple. And Karen, did you know that this was going to take off like wildfire like I, this? I did not. I had no idea, but it's a great recipe. Oh, gosh. And are you making it on Sunday? You said I, it was so sweet. You said um, on certain days with the, with the baguette and that, that, that it's your... Um, Bible study or yeah, something? Yeah, on Wednesday night, Bible study yeah. night, all my kids come to my house, and lots of times we eat it in a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Sunday we eat it with accompaniments, just like you would a big Sunday lunch in the South. Well, that's what's so great about this, because you can have all different sides with oh, it, Oh, right? yes, you can. It's it's so very versatile. Yeah. You're, so you're eating on GMA. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. So much. I know I promised pop news, but I think this is a really oh, good second. I, I like this. Okay. This great. I'm glad, glad that you did. Thank Patty. you. I'm Thank glad you that you did. Thank you much. And I hope you're going to have a great weekend because we are. Thank you can you. learn and uh, more about this recipe on our website at goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo. You're going to want to cook it this weekend. Guarantee.